Hey there everybody, this is I Ren. I'm back with another new indie game. This one is called Meteor Fall Crummit's Tale. And this is coming out on Wednesday the 6th of November into Early Access. So we'll keep that in mind going forward. This is a slightly pre-release build. And uh, when it comes out, it will still be in Early Access. So if you're if you're allergic to Early Access, just, just be aware of that. Maybe you want to wait till it comes out. However, given the current state of it, I am not too worried about this one making it to its goal. Uh, first of all, visual style. Love it. Reminds me very much of Adventure Time, which is probably my favorite TV show of all time, or, or certainly one of them. Uh, love the style, and um, I don't see any options here. Oh, here we go. This must be the options. So we've got sound music voice. Okay. I usually turn the music down a little bit for recording. And that seems to be it. So no other options. Now, maybe no other options are necessary. We'll see how it goes. Um... Let's just do it. Let's begin quest. I really don't know what I'm in for here. Choose your champion. Okay, well, we've got voice acting with no subtitles, so I am a little bit unhappy about that. Disappointing. Aw, can't, can't, okay, I, got, I don't have a choice. Bruno the Brave. Bruno the Brave. Um, so this is some kind of, I think, roguelike with car? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I just saw a few screenshots and it looked very cool. Basics. <laughs> here we go. Clear the dungeon. A dungeon is clear when no cards remain in the dungeon deck. Aw, oh, I like it. Th I like that already. The dungeon is created by shuffling together your items and abilities with vagabonds and monsters, and then dealing them out into a grid. This is pretty cool. I feel like I could play a tabletop version of this. Tap a foe to initiate combat if you dare. Can I... Are these already equipped? I don't know. Alright, let's tap the foe. Your remaining health and that of your opponent is indicated by a heart icon. Okay, I got ten, they got six, and two of whatever these things are. Your attack is indicated by a yellow diamond. All right, that's the attack. Sweet. You can see what the enemy intends to do based on the ball above their head. Oh, I'm psychic. That helps a lot with strategy. In this case, the enemy is about to perform a simple attack, but others might also block, inflict poison, or glare angrily at you. <laughs> Not glaring angrily. Hit the green button to teach them a lesson. A bonk. <laughs> Oh, it bonks me back. Both you and your foe attack. You'll always attack first unless the enemy politely declares an ambush. <laughs> okay. Fight on and vanquish this varmint. Yeah, I'm doing it. I think I got this covered. Okay. And kablonk. You're dead, skeleton. I mean, you are already dead, but... Defeating foes gives you one gold, but that's not the only way to earn your fortune. You can also earn gold by discarding tiles you don't need. Tap the sword. Discarding a tile gives you one gold and also restores two health. Discard this tile now. Why do I have to discard it? Do I already have a sword? Sweet. Now you've earned some gold, you can acquire a shiny new tile. This tiles can include items, weapons, armors, potions, and abilities. I spawned a few more tiles for you to take a look at. Now let's acquire some. Normally you'll need to fight monsters or discard tiles to earn gold, but I've got some spare change lying around. Spend it wisely. Oh, thank you very much. So... I don't completely understand what's going on. <laughs> Hopefully it'll make more sense as we do more. So this is increase the damage of your next attack by three. Requires weapon. All tiles have a gold cost. Okay. Boop the green button. Aw. To acquire the tile and add it to your inventory. Sure. Give me that. And again for the other items to you collected all of them. Sure. Your lucky day. Thank you. Huzzah, now that you have some tiles to play with, let's test some of a more daunting foe. All right, engage your phone, good luck. It's a barbarian. <laughs> more fearsome foes will require you to use items and abilities. Tippity tap your sword to equip it. Okay. Your weapon has increased your attack to three. You can unequip weapons by tapping them again. The foe must be too scared to attack, so there's no need to block. Let's take the fight to them. Does this mean they're going to block four damage? In which case, uh, I'm going to not do any damage? Oh, let's find out. I don't know. Ah, okay. That increases their armor for next time. I got it. Using an item reduces its durability, indicated by dots in the tile. Oh, they're all temporary. It's like Zelda. Tiles are destroyed when they're out of dots. Gotcha. If it was four block this turn, to render your attack useless. Well, shucks. Attacking with your sword, in this case, you just waste our ability, so put it down. Good call. 
Looks like this dastard is about to hit with a big attack for five damage. Tap your chainmail to equip it and soak up the pain. Block reduces the damage taken, but only for the round in which you use it. All right. Attack again, doing it. Oof. Took some damage, but you can finish this battle now. Short sword. Can take off the chainmail. Can I not take off the chain? Okay, equip slash. Yes, I got it. Can't I take off the chainmail? I don't need it, do I? Slash is an ability. Abilities usually, usually modify an attack made with a weapon or target enemies on the board directly. Slash increases your attack by three, but only if you have a weapon. Yeah, I read it already. Also has the exhaust keyword, meaning it's destroyed after use. All right, so it's like one use only. Can, I can't, why can't I take off the chain mail? I don't want it on. Shucks. I guess it doesn't matter. Well done, well done. I'll heal you up and then fill the board up one more time. You're on your own now, clear the board and make me stop worrying. I mean, make me proud. <laughs> okay. So can I take, why can't I take these? You need, oh, we don't need, I don't have any money. I defeat some foes first. I guess let's fight the skeleton. Um, I don't need the sword, right? I can save the sword for, for a, a bigger enemy. Blanc. I won. Now I have a single gold piece. I could use this. Okay. Let's just. Wait, what happened to my items? Are my items all used up? I'm confused. Like, once you use a card, are you forced to keep? No, you said you could unequip them by clicking them again. Or did he? Did did this? Did this? Uh, this little fart right here take my cards away? Maybe. Maybe, perhaps. All right, uh, should I take a short sword? I got two coins. Let's take a short sword and do some more, let's do some more damage to these, to these donkuses. I'll get you in two turns. Oh, and my health does not restore, it seems. Gotcha. Good to know. We'll fight this one. Gotcha. Uh-oh. They're only going to do one damage this turn, so I'm going to be okay. Phew. That was close. You made it look Excellent. You've proven to be a quick learner. I have no doubt you're ready for a real dungeon now. Aw. Did you keep all my stuff? <laughs> Begin quest? Who tickles your fancy? Well, I don't have a choice, do I? All right. Here we go. Let's get into the actual game. So that was a tutorial. I feel like I probably know... What I need to know. Oh, the visual style, though, folks. Can we take a moment and appreciate the visual style? I really feel like I'm fighting my way through the land of Ooh. This is spectacular. Okay. The gobloids are a tragic, filthy race, doomed by their stench to live as outcasts forever shunned. I wonder if they can smell each other? Crumb it. Filthy gobloid town. Feels racist. I don't know. Okay, this one? Huh. This one's free, and it restores two health. I don't need that yet. I don't have any money. So I guess I just gotta fight a gobloid, right? Doesn't seem to matter what order I do things in. This enemy has a blitz attack. They will attack before you. Oh. Well, I don't have much choice. I just gotta keep whacking at this, at this friend here. I say friend. It's not really a friend, is it? My maximum health is, is 10. Should I just use this as I go? Do I have like levels? Do I level up? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Bucket Helm would give me... What? Oh, one defense. I think I can probably take another Gobloid without dying, right? Yeah, for sure. Now this, now this one's dead. Interesting. Interesting. What's this? Hmm. I feel like I want that. Uh, I'm going to use the health vial. Fortuitous. Oh, I have to use it in combat. Well, shucks. In two gold when I acquire this. Excellent. Is this the next one coming? I got it. I, I'm, I'm figuring it out. So I've got four now. Let's get some armor. That will be needed. And a sword. Fortuitous. And then I guess let's get into let's get into fighting. I have regained some health. How did this happen? I wasn't- I didn't notice. Alright, well I can't do anything other than fight now. 
I do this... It's not really gonna help that much. Yeah, I know. You bought me, I bought you. Problem with the health vial is any round that I use it, I'm just gonna lose that health again immediately. Aren't I? Aren't I? Finders keepers. Okay. Now this time, I should be able to... Kill this dude in one hit, right? Is this gonna use my combat? My, my round? Oh, I can just use that whenever I want. Okay. Cool. Let's kill this dude. All at once. Yeah? Oh, oh, they attack first. Yikes. Yikes! Uh, I've got one coin. Yeah, let's let's take this again. I think that was a really useful thing to do. Um, I am gonna use this. Let's kill this one. Okay. However, I am basically dead now, right? I'll take this helm. I guess I can block. Oh, maybe this maybe this will be good. Maybe I can do this. Yeah. I have my armor on. Stunned your poor foe, they won't get to attack during this round. Well, good. Block is enough to completely negate your opponent's attack. This means you will parry. Well, you could have told me that before it happened. <laughs> when you parry an opponent's attack, they'll be stunned to miss their next action. I feel like your tutorial is slightly out of order there, but that's fine. Sweet. Oh, and I get the rest of the loot. Hey, I did it. Victory. My max deck size has increased by two, and I get some of these blue things, whatever they are. Awesome. Sweet. Mint candies! Oh. Cleave. Deals three damage to all enemies in the bottom row. Spike shield. When this item is equipped, you have thorns. Retaliate. Once per battle, increase the damage of your next attack by X. Increase X by two each round. Hmm. Once per battle... What is X? I don't know. I'm still learning. I always love getting thorns on uh, in any game, really. Basically, somebody hits you, they take damage, right? I'm gonna go with cleave though, because this is cheaper. Choose wisely. Ooh. Jester, whenever you discard a tile, randomize the cost of all visible tiles. Interesting. Crusader, if you have full health, increase your base attack by one. That is probably not going to happen very often. Hornet, after you attack with a weapon, inflict poison. Deal plus one damage versus poison to enemies. Blast, whenever you acquire an ability, restore one health. Ooh, I do love restoring health, though. Let me go with this. Coming up next, Slithering Swamp. Okay. Um... These are my cards. I guess I don't have any more. Can I buy some? This is what the blue things are for. I've got 45 of those, so I can buy anything here. Do I get to see what they do? Reduce the cost of target ability by one. Deal three damage to all enemies in the bottom row, right? This is the one that I just got, right? Do I not have this already? I thought I had this already. Okay, I do. So I can buy another one? Check out the goods. <laughs> I'm checking out the goods, man. I'm doing it. This is a very good one. Can only be equipped immediately after parrying. Ah, oh, that sounds complicated. Destroy a target non-boss enemy that has been damaged. Deal two piercing damage to target enemy in the middle, top or middle row. So I guess I guess I can attack some of these guys uh, even outside of combat. Hmm. Distilled from deadly Amanita mushrooms. I don't advise doing that. Hmm. I think... This depends on what row they're in. So does this. Let's do this one. Right to the bargain. Oh, I, can, I can afford this one as well. Sweet. A prudent Got it. Purchase. All right, let's do one more dungeon. Disappointing. Too many cards. Oh, dang. Um. Do I... You won't be able to add it back to your deck? 
Oh man, I wish I had paid more attention. Yeah, I guess I guess get rid of this one. Let's go. Should have paid better attention. But I didn't, so that's the end of that conversation, isn't it? Home to a monstrous snack and borders on the Bum Pass and the Screaming Hills. Hardly prime real estate. Well, let's go to the Slithering Swamp, I guess. Try not to die? Let's try not to die. <laughs> Alright. So this is dealing damage to all enemies in the bottom row. Oh, I don't have any- I don't have any coins yet. Hey, hey, now I do. <laughs> um... Whoa, what's, what's this dude's deal? Starts with stealth. Oh, oh no. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. To your help. Use it, use it now. Couple ammo, nice. I can actually take out both of these right Sweet now. Relief. Or I can wait. Or I can wait and get this one in the bottom row. Let's do that. Let's attack this one. I'm seeing the strategy here. This is actually pretty cool. Sure, sure. But you're dead now. And you're dead. Nice. Um, if only I had another money, I could buy this. Let's do that. Let's fight this guy. Yeah, I'm strategizing, all right. That one's dead. Now I've got two coins. And I can buy this, which will make this one fall, and now I can use this. Yes. That will harm all of them. Sweet. This enemy's immune to weapons. Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter if I have a sword or not. Let's do these then. Two arms. Okay. Down to six. Now that one's dead. Sweet. I'll save my money since I can't use a weapon against this guy anyway. So I've got Hit it. six. I've got four. I'm trying to understand because I've, I've definitely seen this go up sometimes. Does it just go up when I do, when I, you know, go through a round without killing something maybe? Hmm. Well, these aren't going to be very useful to me because. Uh, two gold. Two piercing damage to target enemy in the top or middle row. Maybe I should save up for a sword? There's nothing I can do as far as weapons against this enemy, right? So I'm gonna put on my armor. Yeah, I know. Oh, I still get poison though. <gasps> oh no. Restoring health such as when you discard a tile will cure you of poison. Oh man. Okay. I gotta cure myself of this poison. So that didn't do it. <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll take this. Sweet I'm taking relief. that, maybe. Get ready against this one. I have a feeling I'm about to die. I don't think I strategized quite well enough. So I'm poisoned now. Oh! Did kill them in one, one round. Okay, here we go. Restore some health. I'm cured of poison. Let's just Let's just use it all up. And I've got one. I'm gonna take this. Probably just equip it right away, right? Alright, let's see. This one's immune to weapons. Go ahead and use this one then. Use that to block it and then I'll parry, right? Haha! -ha. <laughs> so they're stunned. Can wonk them again. Okay, I didn't need the armor. Don't get cocky. <laughs> I'll get cocky when I want to get cocky. How about that? Alright, I, 
can use this against these ones. Doing one damage. Parry. Okay. This way I can just kill it all at once, yeah? Yeah. Too easy. Now I've only got one enemy. I guess I didn't need this crossbow. Yeah, let's just do it. Hit it. Let's just do it. I'm gonna do one damage. Won't use up my armor. Okay. Block all the damage again. And hooray! I'm the winner! I did it! <laughs> Victory! Yeah, my deck is increased. That's good. What's inside? Mint candies. Oh, it's not mint candies. Alright, so we got tranquilizer. Replace enemies' current action with sleep. Well, I like that. Reduce cost of target ability by one, or block value of this item is reduced to zero against attacks of three or less. This is only useful against big attacks. I kind of like this. Let's go with Tranquilizer. So these are all the same? No. Non-range weapons deal an additional one damage. I like that. <laughs> Privilege. You start with eight gold, but your base attack is reduced to one. <laughs> no thank you. Well, actually, that probably is uh, very useful if you get a lot of equipment at the start. Whenever you discard a tile, randomize the cost of invisible tile. You already got that. Base cost of abilities is two. I like this. Non-range weapons deal an additional one damage. All right. Um, I think I'm I'm probably gonna leave it at that actually, rather than continuing to go. We've shown the first couple of dungeons. You get the idea. Uh, sort of a strategy card game, sort of roguelike-ish. I do feel like uh, this could actually work as a tabletop game as well. It's like a tabletop card game. But in any case, uh, it's fun. I like it. I'm gonna keep playing it. And again, I, I've said this several times. I'm gonna say it one more time. The visual style is spectacular and I'm in love with it. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and remember, if this isn't your cup of tea, this game is not for you. Do not worry because I'll be back soon with another new indie game. And you never know, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, this is Ira. That was Meteor Fall Crummit's Tale. You know, uh, it may not have been a tabletop game, but it did remind me of tabletop games, and I, I really love those. There's something special about playing a game along with your friends. And, you know, if, if you want to hang out while I play games, uh, first of all, I've got the Discord. If you're not aware, it's a public Discord. Look, look below the video for a link to that. Uh, and come and chat and hang out with us, and sometimes we even play multiplayer games together. And I've also started streaming on Twitch, so you go to twitch.tv slash iraplaysgames. And uh, you can you can actually hang out with me while I play games. I like it. It's great. Oh, these are my patrons. You probably knew that. They're labeled and everything. Those are my top patrons. And they are awesome.